Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again with another Unreal Engine Fortnite creative tutorial. This is how to get a basic dialogue system within a couple of minutes, no code, I promise. So, as per usual, the plug for my website, LinkedIn, business inquiries in the description and like and subscribe and let's go. So this is what you can expect for a no code five minute solution. Obviously it's not going to be that sophisticated, uh, but when I talk to him, this girl is going to cheer. It's just to, to showcase uh, the interaction systems between each other. So if I interact with him, she's going to cheer and then there's some some text overlay going to happen. Let's do this. Hey, is everything all right? She's cheering. If I click dismiss, right, I have a little text. I forgot to get that out of there, but you don't have to do that. So she stops cheering. If I click the other button, you can actually trigger audio as well. Oh, hey, thanks for the attention. Well, you can click the one button or the other button. I don't really care. So this is not super optimized, but this is just for showcasing. So how is this done? Obviously you can see that all of these things can be customized. So there can be a custom text in here. Those buttons can be customized as well. And the, the, the description, the title here is custom as well. So how do we do this? Let's go over to the Unreal Engine creator. Uh, if you don't know how to edit all of these or how to set this even up, check out my other tutorials on a quick start guide on guide on how to do this. So first of all, put in the, the avatar, the character that you want to interact with. This is done by looking up a character device. It's in Epic Devices and then you go Charic. Well, you have to spell it correct. Character, character device. There you go. And then you can actually change uh, what kind of character this is supposed to be. I chose this basketball over because why not? Uh, what else do you need? You need a pop-up dialog device. Again, it's already in devices. Pop-up dialog device. This is all you need. And uh, this one is optional. This one gives you the lower ipsum text that you've seen, but we can actually uh, trash that for now if you, if you, if you want to. Uh, but then you need a audio player as well. Audio player. There you go. The audio player. This is the basic setup. Uh, I got another interaction point in here. She, she's cheering and let's set all of this up. So you can interact with these people, right? So with these character devices, this doesn't have to be a character. This can be anything and anyone. The interaction, the interaction type is send only. And then the text that you want to have them say, when you approach the character, I said, Hey, uh, everything's cool. And then you have an interaction time, which means how long do you have to hold the button before anything happens? I disable that because click and that's going to be, that's going to be it. And that's basically everything you need to do with this character. There is no other way, uh, no other thing that you want to do. So we're going to leave it at that. The important thing is this dialogue device. So. Uh, here you can see what is this dialog device going to say. I think for the tutorial it's going to say tutor. This text will show up whenever I interact. It is not supposed to be auto displayed. We don't want that. We want a response type of up to six buttons. I chose two and here under the advanced tabs you can actually say is this dialog going to disappear after two seconds or is it just staying there? Is there a default button that brings you back? And now you can name those buttons what you want. Agree, dis disagree. You might want to set up the text opacity if you want to, by default it's 100 in my opinion. Okay, so now we told the text box on what to look like. Let's make it interactable. And it's actually pretty easy. You go here to show plus. So here you say, when am I going to be visible? Character device. This is our basketball guy. Character device. When? uninteracted with done that's actually that's it now this dialogue box is showing up as soon as we interact with this character this is all we want to do this is all we need this is cool now let's go for the audio box when you drag in an audio player an audio box this is it's going to look like this uh, it has some weird audio in there but you can give it your own audio Right now, this is the audio that I recorded for this demo. <laughs> oh, hey, thanks for the attention. Well, you can click the one button or the other button. I don't really care. Cool. You can right click, create a queue. You need that. Don't forget that. Uh, this is the queue that is going to happen. And 
put that in there demo waf.q and uh, said here maybe it's volume two and we are actually on the right way when do we want it to play we want it to play as soon as the dialogue dialogue pop-up device right this is our dialogue pop-up dialogue device is is interacted with what do we say we say when we press button number uno all right there we go and basically we are done for the first dialogue you can you can now spin that into infinity for instance let's say we want to have a follow-up dialogue and say so when when is this dialogue going to be shown when we have dialogue pop-up device on interaction button one so now that and we say response there you go now it says response response text this is my response i said the back button the go away button to button number two which is go away the number one is agree and the logic we have set in there does this pop-up dialog device number four is going to be called when our first pop-up dialog device is being interacted with with button number one so we're gonna check that in a second to see if it works right now you can link any other events to these responses as well for instance this little lady over here i say play the emote i want her to play the emote whenever i maybe hit response number two on our first pop-up dialog so pop-up dialog device number one play the emote when you press button number two that's all there is to it because that's her emote is like hey come here let's go talk to me you can be creative with this what you want let's test this i'm pushing the changes i'm saving the changes and then let's open up fortnite and see what is going to happen so our hypothesis is that i can now go to our basketball guy I talk to him, button number two will trigger her emote, button number one will trigger an audio file and the second dialogue option. And the game has updated and let's test our hypothesis. So, it is, so he is saying, hey, everything all right? If I disagree, she's emoting. There you go. Let's try that again. If I agree, I should hear a audio file and a second dialogue. Hmm. Oh, hey, thanks for the attention. Well, you can click the one button or the other button. I don't really care. And since he doesn't care, I go away. Perfect. This is your five minute solution to a dialogue. Again, this is no code. There is going to be a more sophisticated way with this one right here. With this one right here, but this is a far more extensive dialogue option and HUD option. So I'm going to get into detail in the next video. For now, thank you for your attention and on my obligatory plug for all of my details in the descriptions and like and subscribe and maybe choose to and maybe choose to support me on Patreon. Thank you very much. And as per usual, for business inquiries, the details are in the description. Like and subscribe and let's go.